What's up? Good morning. Hey guys, I want to welcome you to today's enlightenment broadcast. My name is Jay Moore, the healthy accountant helping you to account for your life. I'm so grateful this morning. I'm telling you, man, this morning has been very interesting. And, um, yeah, it's been very interesting. Uh, so, guys, the title of our broadcast this morning is, you know the song. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. You know that song, right? Uh, sang by the Stair Steps. Um, I actually didn't know who sang the song because I've heard it sampled so many times. I went to YouTube because it came to my mind trying to figure out, well, why did that come to mind? But I realized it was the burden that I woke up with this morning. Like, I'm, I felt like the weight of, I, I mean, I can't say the world, but the weight of my environment, who, where I've come from, where I'm going, sat on top of me this morning. Um, that's why I probably sound a, not as, I'm not as jumpy and, and not as, yeah, I'm still happy. I'm still, I feel, I still have joy. I'm not sad about anything, but I felt the weight. And, you know, when you're on a personal journey, when you're headed in the direction of, of purpose, of potential, um, you, will, you, will, you will get to a place where I, found, I, I sat down this morning and I just sat there. I couldn't, I didn't move. I was, I, I, I gotten dressed and I was sitting in my bathroom and I couldn't move. I was just, I was like, why do I feel this way? Well, you know, yesterday, if you caught yesterday's broadcast, we were talking about debt. Do you know that debt, what debt does to people? You are here. Do you know that so debt will team. strangle so the life out of people? Do you know that it's a cycle where you could, you could, and this is this has happened to me. We don't, we don't do it anymore. But I remember when we had credit cards and we would use them we would run them up and then we would have the nerve to get them paid off maybe we paid them off i remember the first time we when we bought a house we realized we could take equity out of the house and then we would consolidate they said you would get a lower payment well you get a lower payment but you wound up paying more because now you just you took something that I'm, I'm going to pay 30 years on this consumer debt, but I'm going to wrap it into my loan. This is what people was doing. Consolidate. This is the purpose of my cash out. And this is what we did. We did it multiple times because the house that we purchased, it just it kept going up in value. Wherein I had no financial literacy or education at this point. I'm... Hold on, we got married at 28 and bought the house, you know, between 28 and 31. I'm talking about just burning up the credit card. I'm talking about we were killing the game, man. We had, we were killing it. It was fun. But you know, at some point, at some point, you will pay. And I remember when, you know, when things did come to a head. It's not like we didn't have any money coming in. We had plenty of money coming in. We just, we just would spend it, you know, we would spend it on stuff. Then we, you know, when we had our son, um, we had Jared and then we decided, you know what, let's buy a bigger house. We, you know what we were doing? At least I was, I was living off of presumption. Presumption is when you, when you believe something is going to happen, that's not happened yet. So I would base everything that I was doing on what's going to happen and not what's already happening so i would say you know what i get to make a five thousand dollar mortgage payment that's just one deal uh, you know what let's go ahead and do that you know you say to yourself well how'd you do it? well you know the the loan process i was a mortgage broker the loan process was simple man you know as long as you had credit you know, you can get a loan for, you know, because you you may not have had to do anything. You may not have had to show income. I don't think I had to, even, we didn't have to show any income. Didn't show any income. None. 
I think I think we may have done it through how did I do it through bank statements because I was putting money in the bank so there was plenty of money going in so I was able to qualify we were able to qualify so here's here's what happens when you live on presumption you debt will wind up just like being on you debt will that will that can take you down see this year we are tackling money we are jumping into an area that has most and I'm just gonna talk about Americans Americans are enslaved that's right you are in slavery there's there's not many people in this country that's not in slavery right now see cuz when when slavery stopped there was an, another slavery came in. See, because it's too easy. It was too easy to be like, over oh, there, they're physically in slavery. No one wants that anymore. But how can we get everybody now? We had one group of people in slavery. But how could we now get the whole world? Put them all in slavery. They don't even know. See, there was a plan. There was, there was something that was decided upon way back in one of those back rooms. You know, you heard about the rooms. And they were talking about money. And they was talking about, um, man, how can we get everybody in this scheme? Yeah, you gotta catch the replay. Um, how can we get everybody in this scheme? How can we get everybody to just kind of say, you know what? They would willfully put themselves in slavery. How would they do it? Yes, I'm talking about slavery and money and finances and how everyone's been deceived they said man the banks got together starting in the banking system well how can we get people to take our loans because most people aren't taking the loans we talked about debt yesterday and then they created things that said you know what the, the american dream the american dream would have people to enslave themselves for 30 years do you know you're not supposed to you're not supposed to have a mortgage and if you did have a mortgage it shouldn't it shouldn't be for the reasons that you have it today if if our grandparents and our great-grandparents would have been educated would have been educated things would be different for us maybe I wouldn't have a mortgage because my grandparents would have taken care of my house and I would I would be preparing for my grandparents and and uh, I'm sorry I'll I would be preparing for my grandchildren and their and their children. But you know what? That cycle, that cycle is so messed up. No one's prepared. Everyone's taken out mortgages. And here it is. And here it is. The the average person, the average person is all, has to work to cover all of the stuff that they have. No one's no one's focused on what they should be focused on. Everyone's just kind of running around. Man, I got my mortgage. I got my car note. Man, I've got student loans. That's another one. Student loans. I've got credit card. Now, credit card debt gets gets the biggest. Everyone's talking about credit card debt, but what about mortgages and student loans? These are these were all a part of the plan to enslave the people. It's not supposed to be this way. See, when I woke up this morning and then this song came to mind, ooh, child, things are going to get easier, what I realized is that, yes, things can get easier. Things are easier. But then the question is, Jay, well, how does a person get out from under these things? See, that's the purpose of why I woke up in the morning. And I didn't know what it was last year at this time. I just knew that I was doing it. I, I was doing something, preparing myself for something. But this year I realized that finances is, is, is the exact area that we must tackle and fix. We must fix for those people that want to get fixed. Maybe there's 500 people this year that will fix, that will put themselves in a fix where they no longer are enslaved in their finances. So what I want to tell you is this today. What I want to tell you is this today. Make a decision. Look, you don't have to make a decision to work with me. You can go to the healthyaccountant.com. That's that's like a that's not even really focusing in 100% on finances, but you need what's there. Why do you need what's there? Because you need to change how you're thinking. You need new knowledge. And you've got you you will have to 
start doing some different things. I'm going to teach you three secrets that will change your life and your business. But you know what? There's always more. So look, if you come back here and you watch this broadcast every day, and then if you're special, if you're the person that says, you know what, I've, I've got to really make the big change, then that's when you reach out. Reach out to me. Then we can schedule a time. We can get on the phone. We could talk about your finances, where you are. Um, really, what mistakes have you made? What aren't you doing? What aren't, like, where's that blind spot? Because there's a blind spot that you can't see that maybe I'll be able to help you see. And I'll, and I'll help you for free on that phone call. See, all this just to get you to a point where, you know what, if you feel like, if you feel like you need additional help, then you can always work with always work with me in the program to help you get your finances in check. Business, personal, you know, families. Families need to get, to get this stuff together. So guys, that's the message for today. The healthyaccountant.com is your place. Go check out the three secrets. And then, look, come back tomorrow, man. Tomorrow we're going to talk about, you know, really the resources around what you have and, and how those can grow. So, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier for you. Absolutely. And I look forward to seeing you back tomorrow. I'm J.D. Health Accountant. God bless. Peace out.